Inspired by a dahlia and a beer grass, we're creating this beautiful logo design using God's beautiful creatures. And we're taking our canvas skills to the next level using shapes. Join me. Open a blank canvas and then head over to your elements and search for curved line. This is our step number one. So you're going to click on see all to use these curved lines as stems for your design. So you'll pick different kinds of stems and you're going to duplicate some of them to make them thicker. And you're going to add them and create a beautiful stem shaped that you want to create in order for you to have like a structure for your flowers that we're going to be creating just now. Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true. I want to put up all my walls because I'm not in the mood. But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room. I know that God can heal it all if you're patient and soon. It can all be worth it, all the searching. Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man. I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning. I've been searching for a purpose. I hope it's worth it. This society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world on a secret That takes care of step number one Then you're going to add a line So press L for line And then add a line that's going to have rounded edges And adjust it on your stems your next step would be to go to your draw tool and then draw a dahlia looking flower that is triangle shaped looking like. This is going to be a guidance for you to help you align the petals when you are creating petals for your design. Yeah, don't be too finicky about this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a guidance. So don't be beat yourself up if you're like me, you, you can't draw. Next, we're going to be creating those petals for our flower that we're creating. So we're going to pick a triangle, face down or face up, doesn't matter, you must just rotate it so that it faces down. Once you've selected your triangle, move over to your border style and then change the rounding shape of your triangle to make it the corners to be rounded, make it 70 and then squeeze it or reduce the size to create a petal so that it looks like that and then you can go to your shape colors and scroll down to get a nice gradient color that you would like to use I would love to use this linear gradient color the orangey looky kind of a color so and then I'm gonna zoom in and start lining up my petals all the way across so that it creates the beautiful dahlia look flower that I'm looking for. Reduce the sizes of my petals and start lining them up all across the design. Warning, you must exercise patience for this design. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls, cause I'm not in the mood 
but then I cut myself off from the rest of the room. I know that God can heal it all if you're patient and soon. It can all be worth it, all the searching. Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man. I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning. I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it. This society is really trying me Ain't no I didn't seek I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently Thrown across every surface It makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning That's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn And start reversing all of my And there you have it You can play around and align it all you want so that it looks professional and beautiful. Highlight everything, group your flower, and then you can start adding it to your stems that you've created. So we're gonna have one that's coming in over here, and we're gonna duplicate this shape, and we're gonna have another one. We're gonna just reduce the size and have it coming over here, and then duplicate the shape, and reduce the size and have it come over here and then last one is also going to reduce this size have it come over here beautiful okay the last thing that you would do is to add text so you would press t for text so just add text to your design and add the name that you would like to use I want to use Twister as my font for this one. So I'm going to go and look for Twister as a font. And I'm going to change the color and make it as our photo. So let's see. I'm going to um, go pick this color. And then the last text I would add would the subheading just below that I'm a super fan of creating gaps on my design it just makes the design better we're just gonna add extra white spaces over there so I'm just gonna add a, a blank shape and hide the spaces and hide these extra spaces to create gaps so we're going to change the color of that and make that white like that see and create one over there as well change it to white let's go find the triangle and make it nice and bigger like that and then one more over there so i'm going to press rectangle to add a square shape Change the color and make that white. Just add it over there. And we're going to download it as a PNG. We need to take the extra white spaces. So we're going to have to go to remove.bg and take off the white shapes we've added. And you're going to go remove.bg and you're going to drop your design and you're going to download that image. And you're going to log in on photop.com. And you're gonna select templates we want a template that has a gold 3d design the process to change your 2d logo to 3d is fairly simple and you can go find it on any of the playlists whether it is logo playlist or photo p playlist or mock-up playlist the step-by-step -step videos are available for you there so once you've converted your logo to 3d that's pretty much it i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as i've enjoyed created it visit our shapes playlist and go learn much more tricks to create beautiful logos using canva and photo p we will see you on the next video I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through